Hey guys, today's video is going to be an unboxing. I am super excited for this video. I bought some mystery boxes from a company called Goodfair. I saw them on TikTok. This girl did a TikTok. What are TikTok videos called? Are they called talks? <laughs> is it or is it called a TikTok? Like I'm gonna do a TikTok. You know, you know how like Instagram has like reels and stories and shit. What what are TikTok videos called? Just TikTok videos. I'm so old. I'm so new to that platform. I'm just like, Ugh. anyway, I saw a video on TikTok. This girl talked about this company called Goodfair. She said she got four sweatshirts from them for $25 and they were great. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to check them out. So of course, when I went to check them out, they raised the prices of that little bundle, probably rightfully so, because her video got a lot of views and they probably got a lot of traffic and they're like, oh shit, we're going to raise the price to make more money. So the um, sweatshirt bundle, I have to look at my email, but I think it's $30 instead of $25. So I actually got two of those and then I got um, the pre-love printed t-shirt bundle of five and then a t-shirt variety bundle of six. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So I actually opened this box yesterday. My battery is almost dead. I got this in the mail yesterday and I already looked at everything and I've already modified some things. So I got um, just some plain sweatshirts and I wanted to bleach them. So I'm going to show you what they look like bleached. I don't know if this is how I'm going to sell them because I did have some other plans to like tie dye them and I do have a Cricut so I wanted to do you know a little something something but I don't know. I'll show you what they look like right now. First is this Izod sweatshirt size large. Izod isn't a brand that I would typically pick up. I just yeah. So this was just a uh, blue sweatshirt and I bleached it so it looks like this I mean I would wear this you know it's just a cozy like really oversized sweatshirt but I don't know I think I want to do something more to it I think I think I think this sweatshirt is a Hanes sweatshirt I think it's vintage I'm pretty sure it's vintage this is a size medium and it was just a plain red sweatshirt and again I bleached it I know what I want to do to this guy this is a Goodfellow & Co. sweatshirt, size large, um, uh, uh, Izod, and this is a men's brand. Um, so that other sweatshirt, the men's large, would fit like a women's extra large, and this would fit like a women's extra large. So again, this was just a gray sweatshirt, and I bleached it. I like the way this one came out. Um, so this, the tag is ripped out, but it was just a green sweatshirt. And I bleached it. Oh, there's a sticker on it. Oh yeah, this sticker said second hand, not second rate, wash before wearing. Size may vary from mark tag, like our waistline, clothes stretch and shrink over time, which is yes, definitely. All right, another Izod sweatshirt, size large. This, I don't know, eh, it's like a cream color. It's got the logo there. It has some stains on it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Maybe I'll tie dye it. I don't know. I've got um, a really big tie-dye kit coming in the mail, I think tomorrow. So super excited for that. This sweatshirt, I don't know. I thought this was cute. It says State of Mind. That's the brand. This is a size large and it just says Texas on it. Fruit of the Loom, size medium. I don't know. Somebody just made this sweatshirt with a tiger on it. And then this is a um, Diamond Supply Company sweatshirt, size medium. I really like the color of this says diamond life on it I actually just sold a diamond sweatshirt that I'd had in my closet for a while so this is like a like a streetwear brand I I feel like it's comparable or I at least compare it to obey I said I had a sweatshirt from diamond that sat in my closet for a long time and it just recently sold so I don't know I mean I like the color of this I would wear this like totally I don't know we'll see we'll see how it does so this is a Hanes shirt, size large. Um, I'm assuming this is the basketball team. Somebody made this shirt. This is actually really cute. So it has the N in the basketball. And then it says, oh, I guess I could look up the um, Instagram handle. 2015, 2016, new men's b-ball. And it has like all the players on the back. I think that's cute. This sweatshirt is a Macon Road sweatshirt. Um, it's on a Gildan tag, size large, so they made this shirt. Macon Road is a school in Tennessee. I had to look it up. I had no idea. This is what it looks like. It's got stains on it. Uh, so, I don't know. I probably should have bleached this one, too. Maybe I'll bleach this one, too. Then we have a, another Gildan tag, size medium. Somebody just tie-dyed this shirt like that. So this shirt is old-time hockey old time hockey. I am not a hockey person, so I don't know this team. Um, 
it says NHL licensed size large. I don't know this team. I don't know. You guys tell me. Tell me. It, this is a size um, one. A size one it says 12th annual North Carolina rope skipping workshop 2001. Um, so this is considered vintage, you guys, 2001, because we're in 2021. It says, ask me about the following rope skipping, single ropes, skling, skills, I can't read, double dutch, Chinese wheel, traveler, long ropes. I don't know. It's like a jump roping shirt. <laughs> this shirt is Fruit of the Loom, um, size medium, Lenap, Lenape Valley Symphonic Band. Okay, this is a Gildan tag, size medium. It says MS Volunteer. Um, MS, like multiple sclerosis. Sclerosis, I can't say that word. Volunteer. It's got a big string hanging off it. <laughs> this is um, Brace Face Nation, glassortho.com. <laughs> what? Um, Haynes, size medium, Brace Face Nation, glassortho.com. Okay. All right. This is a size large. It says, my life is, my life is nothing else matters. Like firefighting. I feel like I've seen these kind of shirts before. It kind of reminds me of like, um, you know, like the co-ed naked shirts. You guys remember those shirts? Um, I almost bought from this website, they have a no fear shirt on there and I almost bought it. I actually might go and see if it's still on there. Do you guys remember No Fear shirts? Oh my gosh. No Fear shirts and co-ed naked shirts. Those were like so popular. My mom, of course, would not let me wear co-ed naked shirts because that was so inappropriate. <laughs> but yeah, those are popular. But I feel like this is something like that, maybe. Then um, this is a Sophie tag, size medium. It just says Fort Knox on it. This is a size medium. This is just um, one of their shirts. Good fair, but I bleached it. Thought it would look cool bleached. Okay, this shirt is a size large and it is vintage. It says Fantasia Continued. Now I know the movie Fantasia. I don't know if there was a second Fantasia movie. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up, but I thought it was cool, so I bleached it like that. I'm excited for this shirt. So this is a uh, Royce brand size medium and it's just a Georgia shirt. I like the color. And then it has Georgia on the back. This guy just woke up, so he's gonna finish the video with me. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Well, I don't know if I'd recommend this company. I do, I'm tempted to purchase a couple more boxes from them just to see. You know, but I don't wanna spend $30 um, on a bundle of four just plain sweatshirts. Like, I thought they would be printed. So, I don't know, maybe that's my bad for not reading the description. But again, you know, they're mystery boxes. You know, not everything's going to be good. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to look more into, you know, what they have. So, I want to look more into what they have on the website and then just kind of go from there. Um, but if you guys want to sign up for Good Fair, I do have a coupon code from them. I will put that down below. If you're interested in anything that you see in this video, I am going to list a few things, like I said, in my Poshmark closet. Um, but if there's something that you saw in this video that isn't listed in my closet, just comment down below and let me know. Here's a buy no Who's it by? He is too busy looking at everything on my desk. He's like, wow, mama, you gotta, you gotta clean up. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.